coming on daylight now. So um, I'm a bit late, I reckon, but um, we'll um, got the kayak once again. So we're just gonna chuck it in down here. And uh, oh, what have we got there? Old shark fin or something. It's no good. Um, yeah. Gonna whack the kayak in here and. Uh, cruise out and see what's going on today. It's a very overcast, misty day. Um, just about to chuck the kayak in. Looks like some uh, fish being caught around here. Fish frames everywhere, it's a good sign eh? Alright, let's get into it. Um, just kind of hoping for a late season kingfish here in New Zealand um, and otherwise yeah I'll just set some pearlies for snapper and, and see if we can get some just fish for the table, butterfish and whatnot. Um, and actually really clean surprisingly, we've had some massive swell on the coast lately um, it's really cool, I haven't dived in the rain for a long time um, it's really satisfying, I'm sure everyone can relate you know, it's when, um, when it's raining and whatnot um, Quiet. Weather must have pretty run off. It is a weekday as well, so um, yeah, also might have this uh, spot to myself. Bit of a detour. We're aiming to go up to the point, but um, there's a reef. Just might not be able to see it. Um, it's just breaking a bit of swell over it, um, right in the middle of this channel. So. Um, I've actually wanted to dive this for a long time, but just never never got around to it, so we'll go have a look. Water's still reasonably clear here, so um, yeah, fingers crossed, some fish as well. So I decided to gear up um, a fair bit before the reef, um, trying to come in nice and south in case there was a nice snapper parked up there. I'm ready to go, just gonna connect this uh, spare gun to the kayak and uh, we'll be good. So let's cruise on over. Eh? There's a few birds dive on here, a few gannets, so um, who knows, might be some kingfish. They're right here in the middle of this channel here, so it's a good spot for some current to hit and uh, should be holding some fish. Well, first dive down, um, not super clean, but not bad, um, but just a really barren, boulder looking rock really out in the middle here, not much kelp run on it at all, um, but I, I saw a few snap around, a few tails, so yeah, decided to crush up some kinner and see if I could bring some in. I was once told how great hammers are for smashing up in kinner, so I um, took the old east wing out for a go and it's really good, really efficient as you can see. Give it a go. While I let the kinna sit there, do its thing, um, I dropped down and saw some nice blue mammal. So yeah, good idea I thought, get a fish on the board for the day.
these cool looking fish um, taste great. Cook them up whole or my preferred method is um, sashimi. I didn't leave the kinna long, maybe five minutes, and started creeping up over to the ledge to see if there was any snap feeding on it. I saw a few tails in the distance, um, but there was only blue mau mau on the burley. They were just stirring it up and, and causing quite a scene, so I knew it wouldn't be long. Um, that would attract some snapper. Decided to grab some more kinna and just keep feeding that little ledge that I was working on. All spots work differently. Um, some you can leave kinna and the burley on the floor and it won't get touched for 30 minutes to an hour. Others uh, within two minutes. Um, yeah, so this one was quite active and decided just to keep checking it every three, four, five minutes and uh, just keep feeding it and slowly I started to see a few more bigger snapper coming in from the corners. can't see it in the footage but I started to see a few good snapper just lurking on the fringes um, and they slowly came in got close on this one I wasn't having much luck getting quite frustrated so I said this is my last dive of the day in this spot I'll just chuck a few more kinder down and then see how I go um, and finally a half decent snapper um, provided a nice shot and Nailed it right in the head. Right to the head there. Oh, didn't even engage, lucky I stayed. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Not a bad stepper. Beautiful colours on this fish. Um, Rip the guts open, and there you go. Full of kinna. Oh, glad, glad I jumped in on that spot. Once I crushed up some kinna, um, yeah, the snapper came in quite, quite fast. I saw that when I shot, um, saw, saw his tail right at the start. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep chucking a few kinna down, see if something bigger comes in. Um, anyway, it's the last dive, the old last dive trick, and um, plugged him. So, um, got it right in the head, eh? Must have hit into his skull because um, the shaft barely went through the other side. So, um, that was lucky I stoned him. And, yeah, we'll move on now, we'll see what else, um, try some other spots. Oh, no. um, we just paddled up the coast a bit, um, made it to this little headland here. This rocky coastline. Um, yeah, the rain's really set in, but um, it's quite nice diving. Um, really dark and gloomy, but um, yeah, there's some fish around. There's no bait fish at all that I've seen, so um, Looks like it's going to be kind of snapper today, um, that's all good. So yeah, I'm just going to jump in on the corner here. If we're lucky we might see a kingy, but um, yeah, hope it's not very high for that. Yeah, pretty cool. Got a cave in there. found a reasonably sheltered spot, um, a nice ledge, so shot myself a drummer, hacked it up and chucked it down behind this little rock here. Um, hard work against the current trying to come up behind it and um, creep over, but managed to just get the timing right and got a shot off into this fish.
really poor shot, um, got it in his guts, um, but it did go right through and, and held just um, every time the snapper made a run I just let it let it go on the real line and slowly, slowly brought the fish up and yeah, quite happy with the, another snapper on the board, another nice size snapper. I only left that for early, about 15, 20 minutes. I, I really should have waited and um, seen if something big would come on it. There's a couple of nice fish. Obviously, I just shot one of them. Saw a little shark there doing its thing. Um, yeah, really fishy little spots. Um, anyways, we'll see. Usually, um, once you've shot a snap on a burley like that, they, they don't come back, but um, sometimes they do. So I'll, I'll leave it a good half an hour. I've got two, two drummers down there just um, packed up, so plenty of food left so we'll, we'll leave it for a while and um, come back soon and see if we can get another one. I'm lucky I've got my little kayak out here otherwise I wouldn't be up here it's just um, intense current yeah anyways the tide must have turned um, outgoing tide and it was just crazy the current surge I just just could not make it to this burley. Tried and tried and just kept getting ripped back. Um, some of the strongest current I've been in. Oh. Shit man. I literally just swam as hard as I could for 20 minutes against this current. Just to try and get over this ledge for the snapper. The current is just hauling ass now, it's just too intense, I can't even, I just can't get down on the burley so I'm going to paddle around the back and try and time it right and drift over top and hopefully um, get down to spook the fish. Let's give it a go. Finally had another chance on a fish and really stuffed it up, high shot on this nice snapper. With the lost snapper, I gave up on that spot um, and just started to cruise back into the beach and came across this nice butterfish, so I was pretty happy with that. Crept over a few more really good looking ledges, um, but yeah, no luck, no luck. So, started to cruise in and uh, park up for lunch, and then I found this awesome gut just full of uh, kelp. Must have been some really strong swell around here in the last few days or weeks um, just endless stalks of ripped off kelp it's um, yeah, pretty interesting Perched up on this little beach here. Pretty bugger day. Um, just gonna have a break, have some lunch. No crayfish today. Just scrogging in a half rotten banana, but um, that's all good. Fill the stomach a bit. Um, yeah, it's uh, been a pretty good morning. A few snapper. Um, we'll go check out the pod here. I forgot ice, so um, not on ice, but there's a couple of nice, nice snapper in there, a couple of butterfish and a, and a mau-mau, so um, yeah, not bad. Yeah, I missed, um, well, I hit one big snapper, it was um, yeah, easily the biggest of the day, um, but it hey, ripped off, it was just on its, um, just high on the head there, so that's all good, that's life. Um, Take a breather, might get the drone up and have a look around, show you where I am and uh, without giving the spot away. And uh, yeah, we'll carry on and probably just start cruising back down the coast to uh, the launch site and see if we can find any new spots on the way. Um, I haven't done a lot around this area, so yeah, we'll see what we can find.
um, really glassed off. It's just beautiful. Um, bugger all wind and just no smell. I might just cruise along the coast and just um, enjoy the paddle. It's, um, it's really nice out here. No one out today. It's um, strange. Piper jumping in front of me. Kingfish's favourite food, one of them anyway, so just keep an eye on things. Well, I can't resist, I've got a bit of a sweat on from that um, paddle. I'm nearly back to the, the beach, but um, it's one last little rockier sticking out to this channel, so I'll um, have a look. Last, last chance before I uh, pack it in for the day. There's a reasonably fishy little spot. Um, maybe on another tide, it might be um, awesome. Uh, heaps of goat fish around on the, on the floor. Um, nothing really big enough worth taking. So I crept a bit further down the coast and found a little ledge with a little snapper here. So I whacked it um, and that was it. That was the day done and dusted.